Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale this Aldi single serve coffee maker that just came out in January 2021. So this is a single serve coffee maker. I've got other videos that show you how to use the coffee maker side, but and it takes standard K-cups. So let's say your coffee is not coming out as hot, or if it's taken too like noticeably longer to brew the cup of coffee than usual. What that may be a sign of is so inside of this unit. There's a heat, so you've got the water reservoir right here, but underneath the water reservoir, there's another reservoir with a, with a tank, and it's got a heater in it. So that heater can build up lime and deposits on it. And you've got to use white vinegar. You can use a descaling solution. I'm going to show you another video how to do that. But today I'm going to use white vinegar to descale this. So does your shower head have a lot of white calcium, like a lot of white stuff up there by the shower head? That means you've got really hard water. And you're going to want to do this about every three months. If you don't have really hard water, about every six months to a year should be good. So you're going to start off by making sure you're... So we're going to empty the water reservoir. We just dump that out. We're going to lift this up. That's the K-cup basket. Now you can have the K-cup basket in there or the, the coffee filter basket. Either or. It doesn't matter which one's in there. But just make sure there's no coffee grounds or K-cup. We want this to be empty. So then we're going to push this back in, put the lever down. Make sure you got a suitable size um, container because when we're done, we got to flush a bunch of water through this. But for now, we're going to use a half a cup. So this is distilled white vinegar I get from Walmart for buck fifty. The descaling solution is about twenty bucks, so this is a little cheaper way to go. And we're only going to use a half a cup. So we're going to use a half a cup of white vinegar and a half a cup of water. So I've got my measuring cup here, and I'm going to fill it up. I'm going to go a half a cup. Oop, a little bit much. That's okay. It's okay if you go, we need to go a little bit more anyway. So I'm going to go up to about a cup and a quarter with water. Okay, so again, I, I filled it up to the half cup mark with just white vinegar. And then I went up to the cup and a quarter mark with just water. Now we're going to pour this into the water reservoir. So again, make sure your, your water reservoir is empty. I've got my mixture here. I'm just going to pour it in now. Now, the reason I want a little bit more is I want to be at the 8-ounce setting. That's the minimum amount. So I want to make sure I'm going to run 8 ounces through this. So again, I've got my um, empty K-cup holder in. I'm going to put my cup there. I'm going to turn the machine on. It's going to have to heat that water and vinegar up. Once this light stops flashing, it takes about 3 minutes. Then I'm going to brew an 8 ounce through this machine. I'm going to brew that vinegar and water through here. Okay, so the green light's on steady. Let's do an 8 ounce. And again, this is going to take that vinegar and water through here. Once this is done brewing, we're going to let it sit for 30 minutes. So it's kind of messy. I wish I'd have put that up. You can move this drip tray up one because it's kind of splattering all over. There, I moved the drip tray up. Now it's not splattering so much. Okay, so it's all done uh, brewing the water through here. Now it says we want to unplug the appliance. So I'm going to come over here and unplug the appliance. It pretty much ran all the water through. Not quite, but that's okay. Now I'm just going to let this appliance sit here for 30 minutes. That's going to let that heating element soak on the inside. After 30 minutes, we're going to fill the water reservoir up. I'll probably empty out that little bit that's left there. I'll empty that out and fill this up with fresh water. And I'm just going to throw this away. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. So I rinsed this out. I've got just fresh water in here. I filled it all the way up to the max. Plugged the appliance back in. And now, like again, I went ahead and rinsed this out too because that kind of had some vinegar smell to it. So rinse this out. Put this down, put your lid down. Now what we're gonna do is just run a bunch of 15 ounce brews. So I'm gonna turn it on so it's heating up. I'm gonna do a bunch of these 15 ounce brews and that's gonna just clean out that um, vinegar taste and smell. I'm gonna run one complete reservoir through and possibly two just to kind of make sure all of that vinegar is out of there and no taste is left over. So there it's ready. I'm going to hit the 15 ounce. Make sure you got a large enough container. 15 ounces is quite a bit of water. So start to finish. This job's going to take you about an hour. 
So if you got any questions on how I did it, uh, leave your comments down below. I check my comments on a daily basis. And thanks again for everybody for watching. Again, this is the new Aldi single serve coffee maker. And this is how to descale it. You're going to want to stay up on descaling. Because uh, once it gets really bad, then the machine doesn't really work at all. So again, thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.